Espen Jorstad made history as the first ever Norwegian champion of the World Series of Poker main event. He topped the second largest main event field ever to earn $10 million and his second bracelet. Card Player TV caught up with Jorstad at the 2023 WSOP to learn more about his year as the reigning main event champion. Many WSOP winners have said that the enormity of what they've accomplished hasn't yet hit them in the moments after they've secured the title. We asked Jorstad how it felt when it finally sunk in that he was poker's world champion. Uh, took quite some time. Uh, I mean, for a long time it's... Yeah, no, it was kind of surreal. And a lot of the experience was pretty blurry to me. I didn't remember it too much. Like, there's so much of the tournament that I don't remember. There's a few key hands I remember, but most of it is pretty blurry. It's like very long days, you're not sleeping uh, perfect and like you're playing a lot, so it's, yeah. And I, I I felt in the moment that I was like pretty disconnected from emotions. I felt like I didn't let the pressure get to me. But looking back at it after, like there must have been some emotional pressure since so much of it is like blurry, forgotten, all of this, you know, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's fully sunk in even. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Jorstad also shared with us how he recovered from the marathon battle for the main event bracelet once it was all over. Uh, I did the worst recovery protocol you could do, which is party two days straight and then uh, <laughs> catch up on sleep after that. Uh, so yeah, we went, we went out for a couple of days, had like some nice dinners and uh, partied for a bit and then, um, then yeah, I, yeah, then it, it wasn't too much of a recovery period. I went straight to Florida after and played some high roller series there and then traveled and played some more. So there was not really, I, I didn't really take any time to decompress right after, which I probably should have done to be fair, but yeah. The main event champion is often regarded as poker's ambassador for the year following their win. We asked Jorstad if he felt a responsibility to represent the game. Uh, so yeah, I think like as the main event winner, you probably should feel some responsibility. At least I did. And I, I, I took it upon me to like try to be a good ambassador for the game, like in Norway and outside of Norway. Uh, so I tried to do like some vlogging, a bunch of social media stuff, do some podcasts, do some interviews. I tried to do whatever was, I said yes to a lot of things essentially, which is fun and exciting, but also very demanding. Um, so after half a year maybe, I uh, took off some of that res responsibility. I stopped vlogging, I said no to a lot of interviews. I kind of like, because I felt like doing all those things, I kind of wasn't able to do what I want to be doing, which is study and play a lot of poker and be a good poker player. Uh, so I felt like my game deteriorated too much, basically, taking on all of these extra things. Uh, so now I feel good again. Now I feel I've gotten to, for the last few months at least, uh, not do all of those social media things, vlogging, interviews, podcasts, all of that, and rather get back into um, what I enjoy the most, which is like just nerding in front of solvers and playing a lot of poker. Uh, so now I'm back where I belong, I feel like, which is good. Um, but yeah, we did, we did some stuff for a while, which was fun. Your sad will soon take a seat as the defending champion. Stay tuned to Card Player to find out how he fares as he looks to become the first player in the modern era to go back to back in the World Series of Poker main event.